Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the fused superpower LR Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta who transform into Vegito. We're going to be taking a look not only at them at level 10 links, not only at them at a rainbow, but also them with their new equipment from the anniversary battle event. So they're pretty good. Uh, they are a Patara lead of 180% and an Intype lead of 120%. They have attack and defense of 180% at the start of turn, with a medium chance of performing a critical hit, medium chance of evasion, and an additional key of 2 per rainbow key sphere obtained. They will fuse or Patara fuse when they are below 50% health from the 6th turn from the start of battle. And in terms of their super attacks, they will raise attack and defense for one turn and cause mega colossal damage to the enemy on both their 12 and 18 key. So overall, pretty good stuff. Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power are their link sets with Experienced Fighters and Saiyan Lineage dropping out for later on Fused Fighters and Power Bestowed by God. They will have Accelerated Battle, Battle of Wits, Bond of Parents and Child, Final Trump Card, Fused Fighters, Joined Forces, Kamehameha, Majin Buu Saga, Patara, Pure Saiyans and Super Saiyans as their categories. Now obviously the equipment in question comes from the Anniversary event, it provides them with a huge defensive boost and also 6 additional crits and 6 additional additional. In terms of build, you want to Prioritize crit mainly due to the fact that Vegito counters. When he transforms into Vegito, you will fully recover HP once. Attack and defense of 200% at the start of turn. Counter normal attacks with tremendous power. Reduce damage received by 30% for 3 turns from the start of turn. Reduce damage received by 15% starting from the 4th turn. And get an additional key plus 3 per rainbow key sphere obtained. In terms of their Dreams Awaken Super Attacks, they'll greatly raise their defense on their 18 key, whilst also raising ally attack by 30%, and raise attack and defense one turn on their 12 key, whilst also causing colossal damage to the enemy. In terms of starting defense, they start a lot higher than the Gogeta, so whereas the physical Gogeta can hit some higher attack stats, the Int Vegeta really hits some better defensive stats. If you remember Physical Gogeta kind of getting to the 286 to 76 mark with support, this Vegeta can very easily get to the 300k and when he transforms to around 321. That coupled with his greatly raising defense and the fact that he has 30% damage reduction tends to mean that he's the one people favor a bit more, especially as a floater, because with 30% damage reduction, 300k defense, traditionally you can handle getting hit by a lot of units. So. From that perspective, Vegito shines, that higher defensive stat, really kind of making him, I don't want to say last longer, but have a bit more longevity in terms of his EZA, because essentially what it means is that he can kind of sit in the position of being able to take one or two attacks, comparative to not before. So I think for me overall, that's probably the big highlight. Obviously the takeaway is less damage. But I think when you look long term, uh, I think overall Vegito probably comes out a bit better. The counters help, his counter damage is really quite good. Uh, and even the 15% damage received uh, really helps to just take the edge off and turn that 300k defensive stat into being suitable for a lot of content. Not to mention he has a little bit of flexibility, uh, being able to obviously boost your allies attack at least for those first couple turns you can place them in the first slot potentially now the big thing is is much like the you know Gogeta Vegito or Goku and Vegeta are obviously maybe not in the top 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 tier of units uh, I wouldn't necessarily put them in my top 20 or anything I think they could have done a bit more with their easy A's considering how big the gap is becoming between some units However, I do think they serve a lot of purpose. They have a great leader skill. Patara is really solid. They also have that heal, which is incredibly helpful. And generally speaking, they start out quite strong. Both the Gogeta and Vegito start out at a very good point. You know, the mid 200s to only around 300k defense. Yes, at Rainbow, but is very, very solid. It's a good starting point that allows them to really be 
you know, like very good units for a lot of content. They don't necessarily reach the heights of other units, but I'd say they start off pretty strong. Obviously, you know, their counters are a big component, and I think their counters are pretty good. They can hit 1 million attack stack counters, sometimes even 2 million attack stack counters, depending on if they get, you know, additional supers and things like that. And traditionally speaking, it's a pretty good mechanism for them. I think overall, when I look at Vegito, I think the performance of him as a unit is quite solid. And I think overall you get a really, really good unit that can bring a lot to the table. And the way he's constructed defensively means that he has maybe a little bit more longevity than the Gogeta. Because Gogeta relies a lot on his dodge, and when that dodge disappears, he kind of struggles a little bit. Whereas Vegeta can always kind of be a floating unit that can at least take a hit from a normal. And that kind of separates the two. Realistically speaking, that's just kind of what keeps them, you know, separate from each other. But I think at the end of the day, uh, Vegito does benefit a little bit from the gear. Obviously raises that threshold of defense that he didn't have before. So whereas it was like 300k, we're now looking at 321. And I think at the end of the day, you know, it gives him a nice threshold to hit. Now in terms of priority, obviously key is actually quite a big concern for this unit. Now uh, Saiyan Lineage kind of disappears, uh, and it's one of your key key links, especially key key links, your major key links, uh, especially in your untransformed state. And then of course you also have Prepared for Battle, which is probably your primary key link. Now they do get three key per rainbow key sphere, but this doesn't mean a lot at the end of the day, although helpful it's not super duper powerful, so there's something to consider. Now outside of that, obviously major key links, we're talking Super Saiyan is consistent, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power and Prepared for Battle. All of these linger between the untransformed state and the transformed state. You don't get the transformed state a lot, you do get it a lot more often than you did before, uh, but you still don't get it a lot, a lot. But when you do, you want to be able to transcend and bring some of these links across. You do gain Fuse Fighter and Power Stowed by God when you transform. These replace Experienced Fighters and Saiyan Lineage. The only real issue is the replacement of Saiyan Lineage, because a unit that has Saiyan Lineage doesn't tend to have Fuse Fighter afterwards. So if you are linking Vegeta with someone else, either they must be a transforming unit, or alternatively, you want to switch things up and maybe push Vegito to being a floater afterwards. Depends on what you want to do with the rotation. In terms of link leveling, you do gain a bit. So Saiyan Lineage in, is one of those links that gains key, which is pretty good. And you do gain a bit of attack and defense from that in Prepared for Battle. But the rest of the links predominantly just give you 5% attack. Looking at, uh, yeah, looking at like the transform state, uh, Fuse Fighter gives quite a bit. Prepared for Battle also gives quite a bit. Um, yeah, I think overall it's really not a huge issue. Um, and I think, yeah, at the end of the day, Link leveling him, uh, you know, is decent, but I don't think it gets, um, you know, much worse or like much more necessary. I think overall, Vegito doesn't need Link leveling. I think it's a bonus, but I don't think you gain a lot. It does help his offensive side. Because his offensive side can lag comparative to Alars, especially considering he doesn't have innate built-in crit or additionals. But yeah, overall, I think Vegito is pretty good. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool unit. I think the equipment does help, much like it helped Gogeta. Uh, and I think, yeah, keeps them relevant enough, especially as floaters for top tier teams. I wouldn't make them recommended picks, but I think they're still pretty good. I like them a lot. And yeah, I think they managed to kind of extend themselves a bit further this way. Um, overall, I think it's pretty good. And yeah, at the end of the day, really solid stuff. So from my side, if you're interested in running in Vegito, definitely consider it. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, just feel free to give it a look and see how things go. But that's basically going to be it for me. See you guys next time. Bye.